Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is going to be like a video of all the bullcrap happening for the Free Britney movement as well as like why I haven't been around, uh, etc. So we'll get into like the Free Britney stuff first because that's what this video really is about. Also, this is my new puppy. Yay! So if you hear a little bell rattling around that annoys you, I'm sorry. But if I put him outside the door, then he'll just bark at the door. So he is here with us. Okay, so a big reason why I haven't really been on YouTube is because I have been really focusing on the Free Britney movement and everything that's going on. Let me just take this off of him. Um, and everything that has been going on with that because it's really important to me. I have loved her my entire life. Um, so this whole movement just means a lot to me, not just for Britney, but to end conservator abuse in general, um, which obviously is going to take a lot of work, but there's been so much good things happen from this movement. And I think we're bringing, you know, an eye to things that are happening to other people that don't have the same following or money and everything like that. Um, but without getting into everything that the movement is about, because there's so much that goes into that and I have a few videos on it. I have an in-depth one that's over an hour long that literally breaks down Britney's entire life and how she ended up where she is right now. And I think that is, it's a very eye-opening video. If you don't know and you want to check it out, I worked really, really hard on that. I mean, really, really hard. So if you want to watch it, I'd appreciate it. Um, but anyway... But anyway, what we're going to talk about today is that a lot of free Britney accounts are being taken down. When I say a lot, I mean I know of 50 alone that have been taken down. And then I've been told that there's at least 200 by other um, free Britney like accounts. Um, so I logged into my Instagram about a week ago and my account was just gone. And it didn't give me a reason. I never got an email. My account was actually atta attached to my main account where it used the same login information, the same password, the same everything. Um, and so my main account is still up yet. My free Britney account was removed with no reason at all. They asked for my phone number, said that they would get back to me and, um, I never heard anything back. So my account's just gone. All the work that I put into it, all the facts, I never share conspiracy theories. Um, you know, I never said anything that wasn't true. I never talked about Lou Taylor. Like I never did anything slanderous or negative. It was all about Britney, her freedom, and then what my personal opinions were based on facts. Okay. And I always included the facts with whatever opinions I had and they were never conspiracies. I was never saying that Britney was cloned. I never, you know, none of that. And my son's screaming in the background. I'm sorry. What a fail video. Anyway, um, I never did any of those things to deserve being taken down. And I think it's extremely unfair and very sus that all these Free Britney accounts were taken down. And what's crazy is the ones that were conspiracy theorists. I mean, there were some taken down, but the main accounts that were heavily focused on conspiracy theory, negativity, and hate are still up. Yet my account, as well as Britney the Sagittarius, Free Britney Chicago, uh, the Britney Exorcist, I think is what's called. So many accounts, fan accounts, were removed for absolutely no reason. Now, I could sit here all day and tell you 20 different conspiracies on why I think this happened. Honestly, in my heart, I believe what happened is you can pay to mass report certain accounts. Uh, if an account is reported enough, Instagram doesn't even care. If it's reported so many times, they're going to assume that that's correct and they're going to take your your, vid or your your page down. And unless you're some huge creator that has like an Instagram contact and it was a mistake, you're not going to get your account back. They don't care about me who only had 400 freaking followers. They don't care. I'm never going to get my account back. And that's totally fine because you can silence my pages, you can delete my pages, but you can't silence me. I have YouTube, I have Twitter, I have my personal Instagram, and I will continue talking about this and I will not stop. If I have to make 30 free Britney Georgia pages with different names and different usernames or whatever, I will keep doing that. I don't care. Uh, it was never about following for me. I mean, like I said, I had such a small following, but it was the amount of people that did see my page and who understood from it. So if you're one of the other accounts that did get taken down, please don't be discouraged. Please remake an account, restart. I will follow you. I'll share you on my Instagram pages. Like we have to stick together. We have to start over. I personally think that Jamie or someone in his camp, a lawyer, anyone in that group, Lou, whoever, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't want to get sued. Someone allegedly, allegedly, maybe this didn't happen. This is my conspiracy belief, allegedly started mass reporting for Britney accounts. Um, I really think that's what... Oh, excuse me. I really think that's what happened. I think that's the reason that they were removed. I think it's unfair. And I think that 
the censorship happening is mind-blowing and I honestly even if that's not what happened there's a reason why all these accounts were taken down but no other fandom got their accounts removed there's 9-11 conspiracy groups still up there's uh, flat earth groups still up no one's targeting them but we are all getting removed I, I follow so many different like varieties of pages on Instagram and no other group of people talking about the same topic has been taken down off of Instagram this is it just us tell me that that is not suspicious tell me a logical explanation why we'd be removed now just to get into this like really shortly because I want to make a whole video on this topic a makeup artist I'm not gonna say his name right now I'll do a video talking about it I came on Instagram and said that the reason we got our accounts taken down were for being negative conspiracy theorists and you know just being hateful and that is not the case. So if you see people saying that these accounts were removed for being hateful, negative conspiracy theorists, that is not the case. Stand with us. We are here for the right reasons. The accounts here for the wrong reasons are still up magically. The people who are fighting for Britney and sharing facts, court papers, documents, things of evidence were removed. <laughs> so if that doesn't show that we have some sort of impact in this, then I don't know what does because we do. We are impacting this. Look at what's happening with Britney right now and all the progress being made and all the progress that's gonna happen soon because of Free Britney. Okay. Anyway, that's basically all I had to say. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you coming here. Sorry this was so short. I just wanted to say all of this. This means a lot to me. Uh, please check out more Free Britney stuff, not even just my page, but any YouTubers. I don't know why my dog is choking. Um, and it just would mean so much to me if you found out about this movement and supported it. I'm going to the rally that's on November 10th in Atlanta. DM me if you want to come and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I turned off the camera multiple times to check on my dog. So don't think that I just ignored him to make this video. I swear to God, I stopped and I checked and he's okay. He's just like gagging for some reason. So please don't come for me in the comments. I pay attention to him. I love him. He is my life besides my son. Okay. Bye.